everybody and welcome to Kobe's Corner. We are here in Windsor at the Premier Mixed Martial Arts Training Facility, MTC, and I am with the hard-hitting, soft-spoken Randa Marcos. Randa, how are you doing? Pretty good, thanks. Now, Randa, I remember back when you uh, first came to the gym, uh, it was tough for you to get fights. You were always here, you're a game opponent, you trained every day. It was a little bit difficult at times, although you were ready. Was there ever a time when you thought about not competing and quitting the sport? Um, well, I love the sport. I love training. I love everybody here. and just the family atmosphere, but yeah, for two years straight I was training really hard, preparing myself for fights, constantly preparing myself for fights, and every one of them was being cancelled for about two years. So right before my fight with Atlanta Jones, I was like, you know, this is not happening, you know, I'm wasting my time, but thank God, like, I got that fight with Atlanta Jones, it completely changed my mind, made me want it even more, and that's why I'm here right now. So you won that fight, you beat Atlanta Jones, here you are today, 3-0, the number one ranked 115 pound female fighter in the country. Uh, next on the docket, January 24th, you're fighting a tough 3-0 Justine Kish. Um, what can we expect? Definitely, it's going to be a tough fight. Uh, Justine Kish is the uh, number one Muay Thai champion in America, so she's going to come out with her stand-up, her kicks, her knees. I'm prepared for it. I've been preparing for it, and you're definitely going to see a brawl. Awesome. Okay. Now, do you think this fight, a win in this particular fight, strengthens your chance at a shot in the UFC? Definitely. Um, she's uh, one of the best right now for Muay Thai, and to beat a Muay Thai champion, I think that's going to make me look amazing. <laughs> Definitely. I expect a very tough fight, and I expect good things for you from beyond. Now, I'm going to tell you a story, Randa. I was in the parking lot, and uh, a kid came up to me, and he said, Kobe, do you think Randa Marcos will be the first Windsorite to fight in the UFC? Do you know what I said? No. I said no, because Dave Benito was the first Windsorite to fight in the UFC. Now, that was a long time ago, the new school fan. Do you think, uh, would you like to fight Dave Benito for uh, bragging rights? Um, no, I think I I'll let him have fight that. Him He's a pretty tough guy. However, I do think that you will be the next Windsorite to fight in the UFC. Um, the 115 pound ultimate fighter female uh, contestant list was announced. Your name was not included. I know you lobbied to get on the show. Given your record, given your ranking, and given your sheer beauty, I was surprised that you weren't picked. Um, were you disappointed? Of course I'm disappointed, but just means I have to work a little harder to get there. So I'm prepared for it. Okay, here's the scenario. Dana White, is he's over there. He's in a lazy boy. He's drinking a latte and he's twisting his mustache thinking of ways to take over the world. A spot comes up, are you ready to go? Of course, I'm always ready. I'm training every single day, I'm training my ass off and I think that it would be an honor for me to fight and I think they would be really impressed with what I have to give. There you go folks, Randa Marcos is ready if her number is called to head to the Ultimate Fighter and I think Randa uh, with, some, with continued hard work and a win in this fight you will get there. Now I need a favor, if you make it to the UFC can you give BJ Penn a message for me? What's that? He hasn't returned any of my Facebook <laughs> inboxes in about six years I'm getting a little concerned there's someone else. No, you know what, Randa, uh, I want to thank you for being here. Um, I wish you all the best. January 24th, uh, Randa Marcos and the Resurrection Fighting Alliance takes on 3-0 Justine Kish in the, no doubt the biggest fight of your career. Thanks everyone for listening. You can follow me on Twitter at Kobe519. There you can find a link to my fan page, Kobe's Corner. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kobe K. Lots more to come from MTC. Thanks.